Hi guys, I'm Woodcraft Hamster and I thought I'd show you something a little bit different today. Um, now I've been looking at um, quite a few YouTube videos recently, just sort of catching up with some um, you know, wood YouTube carvers that uh, I've watched previously and decided I'll, you know, I'll have a look through their channel again, you know, familiarise myself with some of their work, and something keeps reoccurring. Um, and that's basically having small um, cuts into a carving stump to help hold pieces of work. And I thought, you know what, that looks like a really good idea, I might try it for myself. Um, rather than cutting into my main workbench here, um, I just happened to have a piece of off-cut oak lying around, about the right size and shape, so I thought I'd give it a go. Um, so this, although it's not completely finished, and I'll probably put a few more notches in, um, I've, I've sort of christened this the, uh, the carver's friend, um, and basically all I've done is put a few saw cuts in, chiselled out a few notches, and what this will hopefully allow me to do is hold um, specifically spoons in slightly different ways than I'm used to to sort of help out in the carving process. Now I've got a little spoon blank here that I've been working on. Um, it's probably about half finished now so I won't be able to show you everything but I'll give you a little bit of a demonstration in a second. Um, so let me move the camera just a little bit closer in and I'll show you how this works. Right then guys, so this is just a really, really simple concept. And what I've got here is just a little spoon blank that I've been working on. Um, and if I hadn't already shaped this bowl, um, one of the benefits of this is that you can take one of these small indentations. Now I've got kind of a, a small, a medium and a large so far. I'll probably adapt these and, and add some more later. But with this, I can wedge my spoon blank right into here. My fingers are well away from the area that I'm working on. And I can take my ax and if I haven't already shaped this, I can start cutting cutting down here, um, I can flip it round and start cutting down this way and I can basically get to every angle of this spoon um, just by kind of holding it and it gives it a nice secure fit, um, especially like this, you know, I'm pulling back on this now, just putting a little bit of pressure and this is not moving anywhere, I can comfortably hit this as long as I don't put um, so much force that I snap this off. Um, and then likewise, if I bring it round to the larger one, you know, this sits in here quite nicely. I can take my knife, I can kind of cut off and start sort of shaping away. Just nice, simple little cuts. You know, you can do this by hand as well, there's no problem with that, but it just gives you a nice kind of solid surface to work on. You can start cutting away and doing a little bit more sort of fine detail carving, that kind of thing. Um, and the one thing that I really like this for, and if I move this back round to make sure you can see what I'm doing, uh, let me move it like this. So when it comes to hollowing out your bowl, now you can do this by hand, it's no problem, um, but what I can now do is kind of hold this in here, my thumb's well out the way, and I can take my twicker cam, you can do this with a normal spoon knife as well, um, and it's just a nice easy way of getting into that spoon bowl. Um, likewise, if I turn it around the other way, appreciate you, you can just about see that, I can come in from above, it's slightly more difficult because your thumb does kind of get in the way, uh, maybe I'll use the other one for this. So again, I can hold that in like this and I can cut in from the other direction. Now I think what I might do is make a couple of deeper versions of this, just so that I can get it down lower, maybe have it kind of flat like that so that I can come in like this and my hand won't get in the way. Um, but again, that's the general concept. Um, and really, I think it's quite a clever idea. It's certainly by no means um, anything new. You know, people have been using this kind of thing for a very long time. It's just that I've uh, recently refreshed my memory um, by watching a couple of videos and, and you know, remembering that people do this. Right then guys, well that was it, just a really short and sweet video to introduce you to the concept um, of what I'm terming as the carver's friend. A um, little bit of work to do on it, I'm going to play around, see what kind of sizes work best, um, you know, that kind of thing. It obviously it all depends on the size of the spoon that you're playing around with. Um, this should work with any kind of um, carving that's got a fairly sort of narrow stem on it or anything like that. Um, but you know, as a concept I really like it and it's just a, another way of securing your work so you're not having to do it freehand. One of the problems I find with spoons um, is getting the bowl in because I use quite a large twicker cam and even with a smaller spoon knife, um, you know, you are having that blade very close to your hands 
Um, and I say, you know, care, care is always needed when you're making something like this, um, but it just sort of takes away that, um, that risk factor of slipping or getting caught in a knot and then jerking the blade into your thumb or to your hand or something like that. Um, but hopefully once I play around with this, you'll be seeing this in a few more videos. Um, and as I say, you know, just a really useful concept that I, I picked up. Uh, but I hope it was useful, guys. Any comments and questions in the box below. Hit like and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I hope you'll all join me next time. Thanks, guys.